mum, I'm on TV. Cyrus Magic here at the Blackpool 2023 convention here in the Horseshoe. I'm gonna show you something new, polka dot. I received these the other day from the bicycle playing card company and I've had a million cards. Blue dot, blue back. Red dot, red back. And I've never seen them before. Have you seen them before, Ian? Have a look at this one for me. I'm gonna put the red one away. We'll come nope. back to that shortly. Never seen that before. No, and I hadn't either. So I emailed Bicycle, and it's not a sticker, it's part of the card, right? I emailed Bicycle and I asked them, what are these cards? They said, oh, we're really sorry. These aren't supposed to go out to you, the shopper. These are for us in the factory to check print alignment. I was intrigued. I said, how does that work? They said, it's very easy. I myself am a Blue Deck user. He said, if you line it up with the angel on the back here, and you look at the spot, and you look at the angel, if it was off centre, like there, the human eye is really good at spotting when it doesn't line up, yeah? Agreed? Is it centred? Yeah. Well, no, it's not, look, because the angel's there, right? But you can notice, can't you, yeah. when it's not lined up. But I noticed another weird optical illusion. If you poke the dot, boop, the boop is for me. But what happens when you poke the dot is the dot becomes a hole. And if you'd like to finger my hole, thank you very much, yeah? Don't use that one on the kids' circuit, but the adults love them. So, it is an optical illusion. Because once you know you're looking through a kind of window and you can see that window versus the card behind it. You look at the window, look at the card behind. Once it's here, if you can't see my finger, it can't be a window. And if it's not a window, it can only be a painted dot. Right? It's weird though, but that's not the weirdest part. If we swap the blue one for the red one. I was just checking where the red one was. So if we swap the blue one for the red one, can you confirm it's still as it was? It's yep. part of the card, nothing added, nothing taken away. I'm gonna go through the blue deck. Dean's gonna say stop for me. Somewhere ideally near the middle of this blue deck, whenever you like, you shout stop and I will stop him. What card did you get, Dean? Show everyone. Show the camera, don't show me. It doesn't matter if I see it, I have seen this trick before, but I'll try not to cheat, okay? So if I take the card, oh, more importantly, check the back. Regular blue back card yep. from a blue back deck. There's a weird anomaly. If you're competition entries, you can just leave them there. Thank you so much. The weird anomaly happens when I use the red card, because we all know the color doesn't match. <laughs> But the window optical illusion still works. So if I take the cards away, and you look here, and you look at the dot, you look here, you look at the dot, you can see through the card, technically. But if you poke the dot, boop, then you, oh. I think you poke that one a bit too hard, mate. Because what's happened there is you poke the red ink on to the chosen card. Check it for me, Ian. Is that on there? Is that part of the back of the card? That's definitely on there. It's certainly not a sticker. No. Nope. Or any kind of sticker kicker. <laughs> Little in joke, huh? But that's not the weird bit. The weird bit is you get another red dot. Because you poke the ink so hard, poke the dot, boop, and this time you can paint the whole card red. In fact, you can paint the whole card red. It's a whole thing. In fact, you can, yeah, you can paint the whole deck red. There are no blue cards, it's just a red deck. The only blue card is this. I guess I'll send that back to the factory. 